If you listen to the politicians, you'd be forgiven for thinking there is no solution to the housing crisis. But then you see these three blokes get to work and you have every right to think again. They reckon the answer is to get the pollies out of the way and let hard-working Aussies get on with the job. It's nine o'clock on Saturday morning and these housing heroes are ready to roll. We just want to say thank you so much for putting today aside to come and um, help us renovate these apartments and get them up to speed for what we all know is a huge problem in Melbourne, Victoria and Australia and that's to sort some sort of uh, the homeless issues out. There's only one way to help and that's to roll your sleeves up. Hey, you can't come on a work site without a hot viz, you know that. You should know that's basic uh, work safe rules. So let me put one of these on for you. I have to dress you as well. Do there you go. It. Oh, Sylvia, I brought my own glove. Good man, you did listen. Hey, you proud of it? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Well don't done. Match. <laughs> they don't match, that's all right. We'll manage today. This is how you tackle a national housing crisis head on. No procrastination, no empty promises, and not a politician in sight. Just rip into it. Working for nothing means everything to these volunteers if they're helping the homeless. You know, I often like to be sleeping outside. I've got four kids and I like to know that I've got a roof over their head. So if I can help somebody get a roof over their head, then I'm here to help. With tens of thousands of people on public housing waiting lists, it seems incredible that blocks of units like these have been empty for years. There's 31 units here, most earmarked for women over 55, and the first eight will be ready in just a few weeks. The time to help is now, not in 10 years' time. How is it possible to organise, let alone renovate, on this scale so quickly? First, stop relying on governments too slow. Then you get these three blokes together, Silvio Mazzi, Rob Pradelin and Charlie Beckley. Silvio is a builder from Better Living Group. Give it back, make a change, make a difference. Rob runs Housing All Australians, a charity focused on increasing affordable housing nationally. Rob, you must be very happy with what you've seen today. I'm actually humbled and overwhelmed by the amount of goodwill in just in the private sector. These guys are giving up their weekends. They're not mm. getting paid for this. Mm. And they come from the other side of town. Mm. What a better demonstration of the Australian values. And Charlie is the CEO of Southport Community Housing Group, which provides low-cost accommodation for single adults and young people facing homelessness. They own these units. This is a great example of community and private industry getting together to do something about the housing and rental crisis. Geez, you got your work cut out for you here, Silvio. Yeah, we have Martin and we got... I met Silvio here a couple of weeks before the big reno. His promise? The interior won't stay inferior for long. New electrical work, there's going to be new tapware, new sinks. So we're really going to get this schmick. Silvio, you personally, why are you involved in this? Because we can and we certainly will do this, and we'll do it in the shortest period of time possible. It's demolition day, and it's all hands on deck. Teamwork? Makes the dream work. <laughs> but this dream wouldn't work without the generous support of Aussie corporates. We've gone out to the building industry as a whole, and companies, and they've all been very happy to donate not only time, as you can see today, but also materials. So floor coverings, you know, paint from Dulux is coming for free. Um, Tapware is coming for free. Wow. Um, blinds are coming for free. So it just shows how many people really care in the industry, which is awesome. Uh, look, if corporate Australia realises what they can do together, if we all do a little bit, we create a lot of value. We're smashing this. <laughs> really? Unbelievable, mate. Let's just see if it's all right to take home. <laughs> it's all right. We'll have electricians, plumbers, painters, carpet installations, new taps, and all the trades will move in over the coming weeks, and that'll, that'll take 
three weeks, four weeks tops. Is there a new carpet coming down here? Yes, new carpet, paint job, new blinds, somewhere warm for them to sleep. And a new life. And a new life. And that's the yep. important thing, isn't that's it? That's it. Shelley, what do you think about what's happening today? Amazing. Oh, yes. See the turnout, everyone getting involved. Fantastic. As they say, many hands make light work. <laughs> Steady. <laughs> and I've got to tell you, this is a cakewalk. So what's your job? What are you doing? Well, I'm taking down the carpets, so I'm building up the muscles today and see how we go. Oh, that's nice. Home is where the heart is. Roll out the carpet, roll up the carpet. There you go. Oh, look at this. Teamwork. Done deal. But there's lots of buildings around that are empty that could be converted up there. I think there's thousands. Thousands? I think there's thousands there across Australia mm. as a short-term solution. Bit like me, seen better days. Good. So to the people who may come and live here, to people who are currently homeless, what do you say? Well, we say welcome home, number one. Come into a warm space, a safe space, and just enjoy your time off the street. How amazing is that? Good people right there. And it goes to show what can be done when people actually put their minds to it.